guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Welcome to vacation vlog day number 28. What's going on? It is Sunday morning. Almost Sunday afternoon, actually. It's just about noon. On sa Sunday morning, I almost said Saturday because I'm awesome. And we are headed out to No Frills to get some more food stuff items. We don't need a lot, but we need a couple things. In particular, one thing, a couple things I need to make dinner tonight. So there you go. We're going to have tuna burgers tonight. Um, came up across this recipe a few years ago for tuna burgers. They're really quite tasty, but we need a couple things before we can make them. So there you go. One more week of vacation left. Um, I don't know where the last four went, but there you go. I was hoping for a little nicer weather while we were on vacation this year. But it is, after all, only March. And uh, it has been quite sunny and reasonably nice most of the time. It's been kind of cold. Not minus 20 or minus 30, but minus 10, minus 15. It's been kind of chilly. But, um, you know, at least it's been sunny and, and reasonably nice. I was hoping to get my bike out and do some riding and stuff, but my brakes still didn't come in yet. Uh, apparently they'll be here tomorrow, according to Rob. So, you know, it's not really quite time to pull the bike out, the good bike out yet anyway. So, you know. Also got to stop by the restaurant this morning, grab the mail from last week, because I only picked it up once last week, so we'll get the mail and uh, do that on the way to No Frills as well. Back home again. And apparently the grocery store is the slamming place to be. Really? On Sunday mornings. Guys, 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 guys. It was insanely busy. I couldn't vlog inside or anything. We had four four cash registers opening. There was people lined up at every one. It was crazy busy. So there you go. Now I'm back home. And some kid named Fiora wants to play a video game. And sheep. And what? And sheep. Fiora and sheep. Yeah. Fiora got a Minecraft sheep in her birthday party gift bag. Yeah. We also got creeper Which seems polish. odd. I know that Fiora got a gift bag when she went to a birthday party. We got a creeper polish That seems nail odd. Polish but too. there you go. And green socks. And green socks. Creeper, creeper green. Yeah. Oh, was, was that the color? The yeah. Creeper green? Very and nice. there was the other thingy. We had the pinata that was a creeper face. Yes. The one you knocked on the floor. <laughs> she's so powerful, she's just like, boom! It wasn't my fault. Boom! Is what she did. I and thought it, it would hold more. And she just hammered it. I thought it would hold more. Pinata fall down. <laughs> pinata fall down. Fiora knocked the pinata down. Fall down, fall down, it fall down. So apparently Fiora wants to play some Seven Days to Die, I hear, is what's her suggestion of games we should play. <laughs> Which is not necessarily a bad idea. We haven't played Seven Days to Die for a while. Seven so, days to eat. <laughs> that is what I said a while ago, one time, when we were recording. So, there you go. Apparently, Steam is not going to open. It's opening very slowly. It's opening very slowly. So, we're going to play some video games for a little while, and then I think I'm going to make tuna burgers for supper. So, I'll show you guys how I make my fancy so I'm tuna burgers. Eat cheese. Because Fiora doesn't like tuna. She's very particular when she comes Listen. to her eating. Listen to, to what? Dog. Listen to what? Yes, the dog over at Rand's house got a hold of your mouse. Chomp, 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 chomp. It does still work, scratch. though. Which tells you just how awesome Logitech is. You can eat there, a dog See, can scratch. eat their mice, and it scratch. still works. Chomp, 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 chomp. Yes. Chomp, 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 I see chomp. that. Speaking of Logitech mice, I love Logitech. Um, I've loved Logitech's mice for a while. Cannot connect to the Steam network. Again. Does that wow. occasionally, just close it, reopen it, and it'll work fine. I don't know why. I have the Performance, I use the MX Performance mouse from Logitech. Fiora is using the M525, I believe. I see they came out 
with the new MX Master mouse, uh, which looks awesome. And I kind of want one, except my MX performance still works perfectly. So it's a little hard to justify spending 120 bucks on a new mouse when my mouse still works perfectly. But the next time I need a mouse, I'm gonna get the NX, MX Master mouse. I might even get it before this one stops working. We'll have to see how it goes. But I've had this mouse for two years, pretty much, and it still works perfectly. It's a fantastic mouse, and I like it a lot. It's the best mouse I've ever used. And some people say you can't use the MX Performance for gaming. You can. It, it works fine most of the time, unless you're in a super high res maxed out kind of a game. Maybe you'll notice a bit of lag. But um, for the most part, the MX performance is fine for gaming. It only has an 8 millisecond response time between the computer and the receiver. Um, you know, most of the gaming mouses are either wired or have a much faster response time. Like the G700, um, I believe, is 1 or 2 milliseconds response time, so it's much faster. But um, I, most of the time, I use it for gaming all the time, and I've never really had a problem with it. So... Don't tell them, don't let people tell you you can't use it for game. Because you totally can. Cool Beans, it is dinner time and it's time to make some tuna burgers. Trista's going to help me film making chicken, I almost said chicken burgers. Tuna burgers, not chicken burgers. Tuna, you can tuna piano, but you can't tuna fish. Yeah, we're going to tuna fish burgers. Cool beans. First thing you're going to do is take a couple of cans of tuna and mix them up in a bowl there. Flake them up to the an inch because you're going to need uh, celery, onion, and red peppers. That's what I like to use. Some people like to use pimento. I don't really like pimento. So I like to use the red peppers instead. You're going to go ahead and add all those to your tuna. Like so. And then you're going to add some breadcrumbs. We don't have any breadcrumbs. I stopped at the restaurant to grab some breadcrumbs. And they don't have any, we don't have any rest at the restaurant either. And they don't sell them at No Frills. They sell big, huge chunks of bread crusts that are left over that you could make into breadcrumbs. I don't need that many. I only need, like, a little bit. I don't need a whole bag full that costs $4. There you, go. you know? I only need a little bit. So, there you go. So I just left a couple of slices of bread out on the counter to dry out. They're not completely dry, but they'll work. So we only really need one slice by the looks of it. All right, cool beans. Next thing you're going to do is add some mayonnaise. Not a lot, just a little bit of mayonnaise. Normally, if you were making beef burgers, you would use egg and breadcrumb. But this is tuna burgers, so we're using mayonnaise. Lick it. No, <laughs> you. That's so gross. And then we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of our garlic and herb spice. Not a lot. We don't want it to be too strong. We just want to give it a little bit of zip. Zip. And then you're going to go ahead and mix it all up. And that's all you really need. After this point, you're just forming patties after this. They're going to seem like kind of like they want to fall apart. Don't worry about it, that's totally normal. After you start cooking them, like once you get one side cooked, they will bind together better. The process of cooking them actually causes them to stick together, not like where you're forming a regular burger patty, you know. Actually, I left out one ingredient. Oil. You want to put just a tiny amount of olive oil. Because you're not going to grease the pan when you put these in. We're just going to have olive oil just I know. It's a problem. 
cook these over medium heat and you're not going to grease the pan when you put them in. Uh, a lot of people make that mistake when they're cooking burgers, they still go ahead and grease the pan. Completely unnecessary, like beef burgers and stuff. Have enough fat in them already that you don't need to grease the pan when you make them. We're just adding a little bit of oil to this so that we can cook these the same way. And that's going to keep them from separating and all falling apart when you're trying to form them. When you're trying to cook them and flip them and so on and so forth. You get the point. Yep. So a little bit of wax paper, just set it down there. And then we go hands on, you know. Two cans and the rest of the stuff we made here is about enough to make about four patties. Like so. One, two. Three. Do you want one of these? Are you sure? I'm very sure. Why? I don't like tuna very much. Do you eat tuna pasta salad? Uh, sometimes. Trista sounds good. <laughs> Post in the comments that Trista should try them. No. <laughs> Everyone's going to be in the comments. Uh, Trista, come on. I've had them. Um, I've had tuna burgers. I just don't like them. It's no offense to your cooking, that's just offense to tuna in general. Why, why, why you gotta hate on tuna? Trista? I just don't like it. Some people don't like things, you don't, don't like don't things. Don't hate them, Trista. And there's your tuna burger patty, like so. <gasps> Set it in your pan. Black though. Check out the pan. Don't put the heat any higher than medium. Because you don't want to burn them, you want to let them cook all the way through. All right, cool beans. So as you can see, they're about half done, and you just let them cook until they're nice and golden brown there, just like that. That looks pretty darn good. They're gonna stick a little bit, which is why you don't want them too hot. I actually even turn the heat down a little bit more to a little bit less than uh, medium. Just, you know, a little bit less than half, a little bit less than medium. Just because they were a little bit too hot before, because you don't want them to cook all the way through, but not burn on the outside, so. This is kind of something you cook a little bit slower. So there you go. Go ahead and get your buns ready. I got some nice whole wheat buns because I like whole wheat buns. I recommend having coffee with them because you know, you can never really go wrong with coffee. Coffee rules. And that's pretty much it. Once they're done on the other side, you can go ahead, throw them on the bun, add your toppings, whatever you might want to have. Lettuce and tomatoes, good and go ahead and eat them. Cool beans. That's going to do for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed your tuna burgers as much as I enjoyed mine. And thanks for watching. And we will see you guys in tomorrow's video on Muse Day. Cool beans. Rock on.